Uh, also, I was muted. There we go. But without a full screen, it's being weird. All right. This is a fun start to the day. actual fuck all right well things are being weird so let's go uh, why is the game being weird Because I locked it, that's why. There we go. Hey Carrie, sorry about that. I was having all kind of weird OBS issues. Finally, we shall excavate tomorrow. Though first, I need to find some workmen to assist me. How are you Carrie? How's your morning or afternoon? I should have took my contacts out. <laughs> oh, what's back here? <gasps> A goat. Easy girl. <laughs> I'm not fond of goats at the best of times, but this one seems particularly disagreeable. <laughs> Well, all right then. <laughs> Yay, that's awesome. I'm still a bit concerned that there's no money Pews are still locked. No one's in here. Oh, it's a bunch of people. Can I interest you in a pie? Finest mutton in all the county. Two pence each. No, thank you. You're missing out. Also, what have I been doing this whole time? Mutton pies! Good day. Hey, up. Look at this, Mr. Crozier. It's my father's journal. Oh, I? Why are you showing me? Did you slip it under my door last night? Ha! Have you gone daft? Why would I have your father's journal? Never mind. Did the uh, sketches inside mean anything to you? Looks like a load of rubbish to me. What do you make of these stones? <laughs> Don't look like out to me. Are you familiar with any local folklore? Oh, why? The old cobbler used to tell me some right stories. Swore he sold a pair of boots to a goblin when he were a young man. A goblin, you say? Oh, I take nice. it this cobbler was a regular at the plow and furrow? Never drank a day in his life. Sober as a judge. Hey, for a been to the devil's toe. Yes, I'm familiar with the cairn. Some say they've seen the goblin's daughter there. Playing her fiddle. Oh That's shit, peculiar. the fiddle. I met a girl near there earlier. She gave me this broken fiddle bow. Ah. Well, you've experienced the local folklore firsthand then, lass. Hmm. Do you know any other stories about this goblin? Oh, oh. I don't have the time to be standing here gossiping about old wives' oh. tales. Apologies. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? 
Never heard of it. What is it? Hmm. Never mind. I found out my father visited Bewley 25 years ago. William Bateman. Perhaps you remember him? I would have been just a lad. What were he here for? That's what I intend to find out. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Hello, Miss Tompkins. Hello. We weren't introduced earlier. My name is Thomasina. Ma'am? How do you fare, Miss Tompkins? <laughs> I'm waiting for Mr. Ambrose. Have you seen him? Who's that? The milkman. Miss Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. I'm afraid I haven't seen him. <laughs> you are in the employ of Lord Panswick? Aye. He employs half a bully in one way or another. What do you make of these stones? Oh, gives me the creeps. Why? Dunno. Just a feeling. Oh? Are you familiar with Hobbs Barrow? What's that? Never mind. Who is Miss Fenchurch? His Lordship's housekeeper. I'm in need of some help for my excavation. Do you think his Lordship could lend me some of his labourers? Maybe. Might you introduce me to him? Sorry, ma'am, but his lordship doesn't take visitors. Any road, I must wait here for Mr. Ambrose. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. All right, all right. If Mr. Ambrose doesn't turn up, and I find you some milk, would you be able to introduce me to Lord Panswick? Hmm. His lordship really doesn't like visitors, ma'am. I'll take the risk. Miss Fenchurch will be cross with me. But she'll be even crosser if I come back without fresh milk. So, do we have a deal? Aye. Bring me some milk, and I'll take you to his lordship. Oh my god, Thank how... You. But hopefully, Mr. Ambrose will arrive soon. Have you been waiting long for Mr. Ambrose? Aye. He should have been here a good two hour ago. He's here every market day, you see. He sells only the freshest milk. Miss Fenchurch swears by it. I hope misfortune hasn't befallen him on his way here. I'm sure he will turn up. Oh, I hope so. Oh dear. I'll let you know if I find some fresh milk. Thank you, ma'am. But tell me if you see Mr. Ambrose, won't you? I will. I've already talked to the pie man. I've no money. Why does everyone keep wanting me to talk to people in the market? Also, I'm going to be right back. My contacts are very dry and I should have taken them out as soon as I got up. And I did not. So hang out for a hot minute while I get out of these contacts because, oh my god, I can't see. Oh, that's so much better. Don't be like me and sleep in your contacts. Although in theory, I'm supposed to be able to wear these a week. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Would you like to try one on the house like? Yes, please. Here you are, miss. 
The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Good day. Fresh produce. What have you got for sale? I'm selling meat, vegetables, and all sorts of herbs and things. You're welcome to have a gander. I'll be sure to browse. Do you have any milk for sale? Not today, sorry. Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Oh, the gravedigger's not here. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Well, afternoon, I should say, for you. I'm, try I'm on the hunt for milk. That doesn't belong on my desk. Hello, hello. Oh, boo meetings. Welcome on in. How are you? Ah, I thought you were in the UK as well. Sorry. But hello. Oh, let's be nosy. Hey, Melissa. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. We actually made really good progress yesterday. Um, finally got permission to excavate the barrow. Now I just need workmen. But I also need milk. Joe, perhaps you've had enough sugar? Don't you start to know. Oh. You found old Leonard, I see. Yes, finally. That's okay, Melissa. I am still in pajamas. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? Sorry, lass. I've none at all. Never mind. What do you know of Mother Mildred? I'll tell ah, you what nice. about Mother Mildred. She wants locking up. How so? She owes me a small fortune on her tab from years ago. Do remind her next time you see her, won't you? I'd rather not get involved, if you don't mind. Be careful who you trust, Miss Bateman. Like you? Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? No, I can't say it does. Hmm. I've had some rather unbelievable news, Stanley. Oh? Remarkable. Quite the coincidence, is it not? Remarkable. Just remarkable. Do you recall my father from back then? I'm afraid not. Those were my droving days, you see. I didn't spend much time in Beulah, but an interesting turn of events nonetheless. Goodbye. See you soon. I like how everyone conveniently just wasn't in Beulah. Hello. Oh, hi, she's back again. Can't a man drink his tea in peace? There's no for you here, lass. Well, all, all right then. Horrible man. How many more sugar cubes is he going to add to his tea? He'll have no teeth left by the end of the day. You know what? Let him let him rot his teeth out. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bearman. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Shoulder. I'm sure the locals have filled you in already, lass. You cut quite the mysterious figure. Most had little to say. It's hey, true. Constance. I do tend to keep my head down. When one gets to my age, one grows very comfortable in one's home. I like the isolation of the moor. I wouldn't change it for anything. I take it you don't get many visitors? Oh, no. Nobody bothers me. That's the perk of living so far out, huh? Just me and me hens. I used to come into Bewley more often, back before me health went to buggery. Eh? If you don't mind me asking, what is the nature of your ongoing illness? Oh, just the ravages of age. Ah. Getting off this bench will be a small battle in itself. Something you won't need to worry about for many a year, Miss Bateman. Growing old is a blessing and a curse. And what of your recent fever? An ordeal, it were. So much tossing and turning. But I'm right as rain now, especially after a mug of ale. Don't worry about me. This man has put like 12 sugar cubes in that one cup of tea this time we've been talking. 
What do you think of Bewley? Whilst one could consider the villagers to be rather unenlightened, this place has its charm. The market's in town today. You can see that folk want for now, dear. I know where I can find a Scotch egg, that's for certain. Do treat yourself to one. You'll not taste better. What do you think of Charles Bryden? He is a decent man. It must have been hard for him after that terrible business with his brother. Without a doubt. I must say I had assumed oh, I you see. had at least spoken to him about my visit. Sorry, lass. I had no intention of giving you the runaround. Again, I can only apologize. Are you going to give me money? What else can you tell me about this sax knot? Try not to worry yourself too well, much. We have one of the devs in chat, so. Leave those to the locals, Miss Bateman. Have others spoken of goblins appearing in their dreams? A dream is a dream, that is all. They merely make for good stories. I know, I know. But to answer your question, no, not to my knowledge. What do you make of Mildred Walker? Who? I believe she's also known as Mother Mildred. Oh, we used to get about when we were children. Our paths have not crossed in a long while. What do you make of Lord Panswick? His lordship is an important man in Beaulieu, as I'm sure you have gathered. His family has commanded much respect here for many generations. Do you respect him as a leader? I do. He wants the best for the village. Does he? Without his influence, the railway line would have never come through here. Does he want more visitors? Aye. I, I shall. so. He has great ambitions for Beaulieu. No worries. Thank you for popping in. With the world. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks, Sam, for gifting me the game and talking about Hobbs Barrow. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known about it. It is very Monkey Island level of puzzle at some points. But overall, it's been a good challenge. And it's definitely a way to wake up the brain in the morning. Is there anything else I should know about Hobbs Barrow, Mr. Shoulder? No, oh, lass. I'm certain we will know a lot more about it by this time tomorrow. I hope so. What are Lord Panswick's plans for Beaulieu? He's rebuilding an old chapel on his estate. He seeks to bring God back to these lands. But what of St. Edmunds? I think Father Roach might argue God has never left. Indeed. Let's leave such arguments to them, shall we? Mr. Bryden has given me permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Marvelous! I'm sorry you've had to sort all this out in my absence. When do we start? Tomorrow, I hope. But first, I need to recruit some locals to assist with the dig. It's too much work for me to do on my own. I see. Beaulieu has its fair share of strapping young lads. You'll find assistance, Miss Bateman. Yes, I'm very... Uh, we realized Bryden was Dave, as well as the Goblin... Dave is awesome. I did text him be like, I found you in Hobbs Barrow. He has not yet replied, so hopefully he's uh, doing well. What else can you tell me about the previous excavation? I think I covered it earlier, Miss Bateman. He is lovely. As I enjoyed chatting with him said, when I went out to London. Superstitious hysteria. What was it like living in that period of hysteria? I kept to myself. It didn't really affect me. Hey, Rex. Hey, Jack. My hands stayed healthy and their eggs kept me well fed. If one can keep a level head in such situations, one can get by. Indeed. Is there anything else I should be aware of before my own excavation? No other ghouls I should be worried about? Oh. Uh, you know the answer to that. The corruption in that soil were all in the minds of men. Thank you for your time. Hi, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, who's in Rogue Trader? I, I have Rogue Trader. I haven't played it yet. Oh, well, bye, have fun. I will tell Jen you said hello. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. I shall. Oh. <sighs> Goodness me, I can't budge it. Be careful, Miss Bateman. You'll cut yourself. I spent all morning trying to get that bloody thing out. I shall be having words with that scoundrel next time he shows his face. Huh. Uh, 
curses. We have our very own Excalibur. It's all yours if you can pull it out, King Arthur. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> uh, I was using real dice, Rex. I refuse to use digital dice. After the ways in which... I stored my case in there. A box within a box. After the way the digital dice would always turn on me during regular games, I swore never again. I don't need to use the filthy lavatories. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Oh, nice. I do have Rogue Trader. I just haven't played it yet. <clears throat> oh, no. The bathroom was disgusting. Oh, nice. Oh, that's not where I want to go. <laughs> All right. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks for popping in. I don't think anyone is home. Oh, wait. Oh, can't talk to her. Mr. Uh, Long mustn't be in. Mm, there's a fly. I don't need to go in there again. Hmm. Can't talk to her. She doesn't have a name. Let's see. It's locked. Huh. Oh, the bathroom is so disgusting. Every time I click on the door, she's like, nah. I'd rather not. And I'm like, damn, how bad must the bathroom be for you to not go to the bathroom? <gasps> Can I give that apple? I shan't be visiting the badges again. I was lucky to escape intact. The resin has set somewhat. It's firmly gripped to the stump. Hmm. And that's why we've got a chisel. I've collected some waxy resin. Don't know what I'll need it for, but you know what? It's a mystery game. <clears throat> Hello again. Yes? Do you have any fresh milk going spare? No, sorry. Not to worry. Farewell. That's a long way to walk and ask about milk. Wait a minute. I shan't be visiting the badges again. I was lucky to escape intact. Huh, so much for that idea. Delicate flowers smell rather sweet. The water is icy cold. I'm not sure what that would achieve. 
Hmm. I can't see how that will help me. Well, shit. Peculiar idea. Oh, it's okay. locked. Um, so we've got permission to excavate the banner. I've no time for such things. And now I need to hire some gents to do the excavation. But now I'm a wee bit concerned about what I need to do. I need to get milk. <gasps> Resin. Can I fix her bow? Hi, Mandy. Of course not. What a peculiar name. The Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. So I've got to find milk so that Lord... Penswick's maid. Mr. Shoulder told me he'd be at the Plow and Furrow. Will take me to his lordship's house so I can hire people. Except I'm a bit at a loss for how to get milk. You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Okay, I can't go any further. Mr. Shoulder told me he'd be at the Plow and Furrow. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts no. a present moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Um, so right now I need to find the guy who was supposed to come to the market. I, w I wonder if he's in the alley. So basically, someone who sells milk is very late to coming to the market. <clears throat> and... He's the one who sells milk, and this girl is more concerned with missing milk than bringing a total stranger to... I'm not sure what that would achieve. I can't click on that crow. Interesting. Wait. We there aren't cows, but there was a goat. I should ask Mr. Bryden for permission before attempting to milk his goat. Didn't say it had to be cow's milk. Do you, want... Do you have any fresh milk going spare? <laughs> if you can get any milk out of old Eunice, you're welcome to it. Eunice? Me goat. Is there Good a... Luck. I just picture that as Halson going... <laughs> go, go with the Oak Father. doing this oh gee oh shit what the fuck oh I didn't know we needed a CW for this game what the fuck I thought it was a cute puzzle game well I 
I, I just wanted I, to milk the goat. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. You and me both, Zero. All this superstitious nonsense must be getting to my head. <laughs> goat, you're giving me some milk. I'm not going near that thing again. Well, shit. We tried to milk the goat. We had another hallucination. Well, did you get any milk out of her? I tried and failed miserably. <laughs> uh, she's a temperamental beast. Perhaps you could milk her for me? I'd like to help you last, but I've just had a flare up in me joints. I worked myself too hard this morning. I couldn't bend down to save myself. Is there anything I can do to help? Ah, my wife would say I'm beyond any help. I'm certain of that. But if you know of any remedies for aching joints, please send them my way. I'll see what I can do, Mr. Bryden. I'm going to rest for a while. ta -ra now. So that means we have to go back to what's her face. Get something for his joints, then he can milk the goat, then we can go to the maid. Oh my god. Me, this will be quick. Also me, why did you think this would be quick? What what planet are you on? I am I really wish she had a watch because she would get all her steps. She is literally getting all her steps doing all these quests. Back to the forest. <laughs> Daddy, I have something for you. I do hope you remember it. I've taken great care of it. I'll fetch it for you now, all right. Daddy, you must remember this. The day that started it all. It's the red urn you buried in the garden for me. My first ever excavation. Yes, you hmm. should, uh, Where should do that I command. I think anyone can do it. Mother took away all the knickknacks that used to sit on these shelves. The pot might look nicer a little closer to the light anyway. Perfect. It will catch the light from your Oops. lamp so nicely. There. I'm going to become a great barrow digger just like you. I hope the pot reminds you of those adventures we had together when I was a child, and how thankful I am for everything you've taught me. Now I must tell you about my visit to Pallinghurst. I found an arrowhead. Thanks. Oh, that's been in the works for quite a while, Pink Lady. Melissa, didn't I agree like almost a year ago? Yeah, this time next week, I'll be getting ready to go to the airport. Maybe not to the airport this time, but my flight's at like one-ish. Good day. Yes? Do you know of any remedies for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. It's for someone else, Mr. Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? Well, I don't have the ingredients, I'm afraid. What do you need to make it? It's a simple blend made of natural elements. Elderflower and flirtwort. I can make the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then it just needs to be applied directly to the joints. That should ease his burden. 
Thank you. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. One second. Forgetting you've got a brand new piercing is a whole time. No, it's more... Not to be gross, but adventures in blowing your nose with a brand new nose piercing. So BRB. Um, it goes carefully. Oh, I'm, oh, ow. Yeah, also, uh, 
When stream is ending, someone yell at me to go clean my piercings. Where can I find some flirt wart? Flirt wart Thank is you. not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Hey, Carjan. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Farewell. Ta-da. Oh no, Emily. Yeah, I mean, so here's the thing. This is still going better than it I used to. I shan't be visiting the badges again. I was lucky to escape intact. Uh... This was me deciding to get all of my piercings redone. Not quite on a whim, but I meant to go New Year's Day and didn't do it because I was tired. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Hey, we got elderflower. Yeah, it's a... All right, all right. I said might be some on the moors, so. Oh, hey, the pastor. Excuse me, Miss Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Which work is that quote from? Uh, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. Well. Right? Like. You see me looking at these flowers like, what's over here? This is where I dug up Jane's ragdoll. Let's see if there's any in the garden. So much for that idea. Let's see if there's any by Hobbs Barrow itself. This is the most Monkey Island convoluted. Well, so much for that. I was hoping there was a way past the goat, like somewhere to go beyond the goat. Look, I would never I would never touch goats again after that. I wouldn't even eat goat. Right? Like this better be amazing. All right. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. You know what I'm about to do, right? I may be a barrow digger, but I'm no grave robber. Dang it! This game said no. Look, the grave was right there and I've got a trowel. So 
much for that idea. Hmm. No, that won't work. I'm trying because remember, like in in Monkey Island and other type sim sim similar games, you'd have to click on the most random shit. We've already been out to the moors. He's got rotten apples. We, Lady, I hope you are willing to wait like 10 days for me to... Get you. Oh, that's where that goes. <laughs> right? Like, it's, it's surely not fresh milk at this point. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. This looks like elderflower to me. I like how she's just randomly selling elderflower. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. Horsehair would make fine bowstring. <laughs> she almost took my head off. Perhaps I have something in here that could help me get the knife unstuck. Hmm. No, there's nothing useful here. I don't wish to lose an eye. Oh. I'll have to gain her trust. Hold on. Oh, no, I didn't want to leave. Hey, girl. Would you like an apple? She is completely indifferent. Perhaps the apple is too spoiled for her liking. Wow, the horse was like, I don't want your raggedy apple. <laughs> right? Like, that horse should have kicked her head in. Just yanking hair. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. All right. Bye. All right, bye, Melissa. Boy, why There's is... nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Uh... I have nothing else to ask for the time being. 
I do like that the game at least doesn't let you waste your time if there's nothing more to get from them. Mr. Long mustn't be in. I don't need to go in there again. All right, I'm a wee bit stumped. Hmm. No one here. Alright, there was a light on in that house the last time we were there. This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. Oh! Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. DePlancy. If you're looking for Father Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. These box pews are most unusual. I've never seen any quite so tall. We Buley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. What do you make of these stones? They are not Christian. I'm certain wow. of that. I agree. Much older, I feel. Older than Christianity? Uh... Oh, the youth of today. Oh, no. Where is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Wow. Man. The fact that she said older than Christianity with everything in her little heart. Y'all. And I'm like, oh, oh, old lady. You fit right in with uh, certain people today. Right? I mean, what? I forget, what year is this game? The Railroad's new, so it's, I want to say mid-1800s? <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking. I'm looking for my lighter. You know how you look for something on your desk, you find literally everything but what you're looking for? Hey, pirate. Hey, pirate, you just missed a lull. This lady said, older than Christianity with her whole heart. That's okay, I keep matches on my desk. And I know I'm not a pyro. I'm looking for a flower. Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. You'll have to ask him to show oh, you. Oh, no. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? Bateman? William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. Oh. My father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was yes. doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I don't, pet. Not to worry. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I concern myself only with matters related to the church. I'm oh. sorry I can't be more helpful. Wow, why are you here? Do you know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. 
If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere. For safekeeping, like. Were it in the graveyard? Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. We have to go Thanks dig up time. that grave. Lord be with you. And also with you. Oh, absolutely she would. So what's the over-under? We gotta dig up that grave. Now we have to do it. Ugh. I may be a barrow digger, but I am no grave robber. Well... Okay, well... That wasn't it. Use trial with exit. Hmm... Also the fly. Game, you really are making me go through it to get this fucking mm. key. No, that won't work. This game truly is making me go through it to solve this barrow. I shan't be visiting the badges again. I was lucky to escape intact. Alright, I may ask for help, because now I'm just confused. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Wait a minute. I think I can chip away at this plaster. Despite the cracks, the plaster is stronger than it looks. I can't break through it. I 
think I can chip away at this plaster. He told me, he gave me a quote from Romeo and Juliet before he left. There's a key behind here. Aha! It has to be Father Roach's spare. It wasn't buried. It wasn't buried. It's locked. Why can't you be like other video games? Capital. Right, Pink? <gasps> A small label on the pot reads flirt wart. This is just what I need. We're stealing flowers from a priest. I already took some. Oh, you did? Okay, cool. We stole flowers from a priest, y'all. I should put the key back. There. I hope that stays on. It's not... Y'all, it would be like 10 p.m. by the time we did all this fucking walk-in. Hey, pirate. AIW's tonight, yeah? I literally was trying to dig up. Also, how did that lady not hear us walking around in the priest quarters and upstairs? Good day. Nice. I have some elderflowers here. Show me. No, no, this is not elderflower. It's cowbane. An easy mistake to make. The two look very similar. Ah! It's safe to eat, as long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, oh white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. I think I have some flirtwort here. Show me. Ah, that's flirtwort, all right. Let me know when you found some elderflower, too. Farewell. I'm sorry for the yell, but holy fuck. Are you serious? Where is that fox going? All right, if that was an elderflower, what the fuck? I have no use for the cowbane. <sighs> the water is icy cold. We haven't taken a bath, had a real meal. We've had two mugs of ale over two days. We haven't gone to the bathroom. Oh my God. All right, I may have to look this up. Father Roach has amassed quite the collection here. I don't wish to disturb it. You already took some. I already took some.
I have nothing else to ask for the time being. That's not mine to interfere with. Damn. Good day. Do you have any milk for me, ma'am? Not yet, Miss Tompkins. Oh, dear. No sign of Mr. Ambrose? I'm afraid not. Good day. Hey, up. I'm having some trouble extricating a knife from a table in the plow and furrow. Might I borrow a pair of pliers? A knife, you see. I can get that out for you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Crozier. Think nothing of it. Wait here. And in the process, he lost two fingers. That were a struggle. Here you are. Thank you so much. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I'm a blacksmith, not a cattle farmer. Quite. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. I have no money. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. <laughs> Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. This looks like elderflower to me. Good day. Fresh produce. Is that elderflower you're selling? Aye, perfect for teas and tinctures. Any good for sore joints? Aye, penny a bunch. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Sorry, miss. Does it look like I'm running a charity? Oh. Can we work something out? A trade, perhaps? I deal in cash only, miss. No coin, no elderflower. What do you take me for? Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Oh, Jesus. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. What do you want to guess? I need to fix the fucking... I could certainly use the knife to cut some hair from her tail. But I'm going to have to gain her trust unless I want a hoof to the nose. Hey girl, would you like an apple? She is completely indifferent. Perhaps the apple is too spoiled for her liking. I don't wish to interfere with her water. I mean, it's not a joke for those of us over a certain age. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. All right, so I'm going to ask if anyone's plans, how the fuck do you get money? Because my money was not there. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Hello, Jane. Miss. Watch me juggle. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Warm pies! Alright. I'm just gonna Google it on my phone because this is bothering me. How do I get... Wow, that's not a word. I get elderflower... And hobs... Barrow...
Ah. I don't know. The guy that had her money just ditched her. Sent, we finally got her crate of stuff and no money was in there. Fresh scotch eggs! I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. This isn't working. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. Okay. I'm very impressed. Be careful with those things. Yes, miss. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Okay, what I found says she's supposed to throw the apple. This isn't working. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. This is, this tip is not working. Oh, I see what I didn't do. This is so convoluted. It's not just giving the child the apple. I need to go back to where I dug up her doll, get a worm, put it in the apple, then give her the apple. Hmm. You're coming with me, little fellow. I shall name you Kenneth. So I need... I can't just give her the apple. Who would have thought of that, though? The worm has found a new home within the holes of the rotten apple. So now we go back. Give her the apple with the worm in it. Whomst would have, though? Morton Pies! I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm! Put those back! Sorry. Hello again, little worm. Okay, how am I supposed to swap? I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm!
can't see how that will help me. Fuck! Be this careful with your apples. Sorry, miss. How am I supposed to do this? Hello again, little worm. Okay. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm. I managed to swap them without her noticing. Except you just said it out loud. Fresh Scotch eggs. Wow, we st so we stole from a priest. We stole from this lady. All of this with no money. This is some Monkey Island level shit. I would have never thought of it either. Good day. I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you go. Tell oh. Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. It works wonders. Thank you very All much. All of this so he can milk a goat. Y'all. <laughs> oh, what's funny is I've got an apple on my desk and now I'm kind of looking at it like, do I want it? Answers I do because I'm hungry. Not the squirrel emote. Yes? I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see it myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Oh, that did the trick, lass. I feel like a lad of twenty again. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old Eunice for you in return. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. A fair exchange. How about no one here has money? What the fuck? Stand well back, lass. Believe me, I'm not coming an inch closer. a whole lot to get milk. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden. <laughs> Y'all...
I've got a pail of fresh milk here for you, Miss Tompkins. You haven't. Here. Mum, you've saved my hide. Thank you. Are you all right? I'm worried about Mr. Ambrose. Any road, I'm heading back to Panswick Manor now. Would you still like to meet his lordship? Very much so. Now, I can't guarantee you'll be home all right. He's a very busy man. I'll take my chances. Follow me, then. Come on over. It's not much further. You mean if I just jumped over that? What time do you call this? Sorry, Mum. Give it here then. What the hell is this muck? Goat's milk, ma'am. You daft bint. Since when does his lordship take goat's milk with his tea? Oh, he will not be pleased. Get back to your sweeper before I clip you over the head. Sorry, ma'am. Wow, and just left me there. Where is Lord Panswick? Sorry, ma'am. I can't talk. Fenchurch is ever so mad at me. Hello there. Bugger off, you whelp. This is private land. I was wondering if it might be possible to speak with Lord Panswick. Are you deaf, girl? Don't make me fetch the guards. They're armed, you know. Ah, Christ, you're like a dog with a bone. Do you want to get yourself shot? I can assure you the only things getting shot around here are the pheasant. No. And perhaps the odd grouse. <laughs> Greetings, my lady. Lord James Panswick. Are you fucking- At your disposal. Your Lord Panswick? As I live and breathe. You could have told me that before. What is life without mystery, Miss Bateman? Mother! A predictable stagger to the grave? I was imagining someone... Much older and far less handsome? Something like that. <laughs> See? I can read your mind, my dear. Now, may I ask, what brings you to my manor? I wanted to ask if I could borrow yep. some of your laborers. Oh? For what purpose? I intend to excavate Hobbs Barrow tomorrow, and I'm in need of some assistance. An excavation? How very delightful. We're in the middle of our own works right this minute. Follow me, Miss Bateman. I'm sorry, what? Come along. I promise I don't bite. Excuse my... Mm. For generations, this chapel was a place of unique devotion. This was until some of my more ungrateful ancestors forgot him and abandoned it. Why did they abandon it? Men of great wealth and power can grow so comfortable that they forget they still need the divine. The sacrifices required to maintain such a relationship were no longer being made. The chapel soon turned to rubble, and with time, even the villagers forgot him. His influence endured, but... Only with the isolated few who lived on the very fringes of these moors. Believe it or not, my family's fortunes have dwindled ever since. Since I succeeded my father, it has become my life's work to restore this place of worship. With this sacred place rebuilt, he shall be venerated once more, and the name Panswick shall be uttered again across all of England. He guided the hands of my ancestors. Now it is time for him to guide us. You know there's a church in town, Bewley right? Bewley is a godless place. I'm sorry, what? Have you forgotten about St. Edmunds? Father Roach might disagree. <laughs> I shall bring him back to these lands, and this chapel shall be his seat once again. A new world. Bro. But it seems like you wish to bring back the past. From out of the old world shall come the new. 
a greater truth. But I digress. Horace, my dear fellow. Aye, ah, your lordship. This fair lady here is in need of some assistance. Would you and your chaps be up for a spot of digging at Hobbs Barrow tomorrow? Hobbs Barrow? Ah, your lordship, tis no bother. Good man. You're in luck, my dear. These are my finest. They're all yours. Thank you. I am grateful. On one condition. Yes? I've heard wonders about Mary de Plancy's Bakewell puddings. I'd rather like to try them for myself. Your lordship, you're giving me the help of your men in exchange for cakes? Yes. But... Farewell, my beauty. One small problem. Wait. Is his lordship joking about the Bakewell puddings? No, miss. His lordship is a man of folly. How ridiculous! He treats you all right if you do what he asks. <sighs> Y'all. Good day. Oh, another strumpet looking to find her way into his lordship's bedchambers, I see. Yo! I'm nothing of the sort. Ha! I've seen plenty of your sort before. Thank you for bringing me here, Miss Tompkins. You're welcome, ma'am. Um... There's a not-so-small problem of us not having... Money? A strumpet. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. DePlancy. Do you still have some of your homemade Bakewell puddings, Mrs. DePlancy? Oh, you're too late, pet. I have a few left, but they're set aside for someone else. Might you please be able to bake me some more? Sorry, I, I, I'm not in the mood for baking. Truth be told, my dear husband Albert passed away recently. My thoughts are all over the shop. I'm so sorry to hear that. Aye, he's in God's hands now. Were you married to Albert a long time? Aye, too many years to count. He was a cobbler here in Bewley. The most dashing gobbler in all of England, I used to tell him. <sighs> Love is precious, pet. There's yeah. nought that can replace the hole it leaves in your heart. Uh... I can relate to that in my own way. I wish you strength in this difficult time. Thank you. With God's blessing, oh I'll God. get by. May I ask who you have set aside the puddings for? Oh, uh, Father Roach. He won't be back until tomorrow. Won't they be off by then? Not at all. Besides, pet, as I told you, I'm not in the mood for all this baking chatter. Sorry, Mrs. De Plancy. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. That's not mine to interfere with. Make her above. I need to get a sugar cube. Y'all, this game is the most convoluted. I'll let the worm enjoy his new home. off me sugar I think this is supposed to be for all the patrons sir I said hands off come on Joe be nice to our visitors 
Ha! This place has gone to buggery. Jesus. Good day. Hello there. My name is Thomasina. What's your... Can you all still hear me? Yeah, OBS has dropped entirely. No idea why. There we are. This should make sufficient bowstring now. Oh, OBS has been bad since the update. I've done it. The bowstring seems to hold on sufficiently. I don't know what they did. But the latest OBS update absolutely does not like... Does, does not like things. I was having, like one of the days I was playing Baldur's Gate, um... There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. The simple wooden cross bears a small plaque on which is inscribed the name Albert de Plancy. Relative, are you? No, just looking. He with a cobbler. Who's going to mend me boots now? <laughs> hmm. Wrong way. This is very confusing. Although I've learned the hard way, or been reminded the hard way, never to ask for help online. Because I talked about OBS. And y'all, people... And I said specifically, people who stream. Why? Oh my god, where the fuck is the cairn? Uh... Oh my god, I've lost my way. Me, people who stream, are you having X problem? I don't stream, but... Look what I have for you. Well, now we know why it's called the Devil's Toe. My head. 
head is spinning. What happened? Hello? Where did she go? The girl left her fiddle behind. I'll take it with me in case I see her again. I want to understand what just happened. We have had to go on such a journey. <coughs> Mr. Shoulder told me he'd be at the Plown Furrow. Make it above. What a peculiar name, the Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. At this rate, are we going to excavate today? I'm starting to feel like we're not. Okay. Hello. Does this fresh grave belong to Mrs. De Plancy's late husband? Aye. Rather bare, isn't it? My job is to dig the graves, not decorate them. Goodbye. Ta da. Ta da. <laughs> yeah. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. I saw your late husband's grave, Mrs. De Plancy. I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you, pet. I'm ashamed to say I couldn't afford now more than a simple wooden cross. You were a colourful man, our Albert. He deserves better. He loved his flower beds. He's only been gone a fortnight, and already his plants have gone to rot. May the Lord forgive me. Plants are difficult to maintain. I'm sure Albert would understand. His precious hippie astrum were the first to go. I would have loved to lay one on his grave. What does a hippie astrum flower look like? Oh, beautiful things they are. Tall stems topped with large red flowers. Hard to grow in this climate. They were his pride and joy. The remarkable thing is there's no scent to him. That's why he loved him so much. You see, he hated anything that smelled sickly sweet. Hippie Astro were just perfect. Let me know if you come across one, won't you? Of course, Mrs. De Plancy. Now we have to find a Hippie Astrum in order to Thanks give for her time. one so she'll give Lord us a be pudding. With you. And also with you. Oh my god. These matched the description of the flowers Mrs. De Plancy mentioned. There's no scent. You get away from my hippie astrum. Ah, apologies. Move! I'm gonna well, shoot this old that lady. Confirms it. one of those hippie astrum flowers. Why? It's a long story. Might you please be able to get one for me or distract Miss Fenchurch so I can take one? Those flowers are Miss Fenchurch's favorites. She spends hours looking after them. Sorry, Mom. It's just that I'm so worried about Mr. Ambrose. The milkman? Aye. We were to run away together today. I see. I'm worried sick that he stood me up. 
without Mr. Ambrose, this job is all I have. I can't risk losing it over a flower. I'm sorry, Miss Tompkins. I still haven't seen him. Do you think he's abandoned me? I'm sure that's not the case. He must have been delayed somewhere. Could you try to find him for me, ma'am? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, please, ma'am. I'd do anything for you if you found my love. I can try. Oh, oh thank you. You're ever so kind, ma'am. What does Mr. Ambrose look like? He's got brown hair. I'm afraid I'll need a bit more to go on. Sorry, ma'am. I'm too upset. Please find him, won't you? Hey, stop your nattering and get back to your sweeping. Sorry, Miss Fenchurch. You're sweeping dirt. You are sweeping dirt. Mutton pies! All right, can you all still hear me? <laughs> all right, let me refresh chat because now chat seems to be on. for each of these pots. Well, I don't know if they're all true, but they are my memories. Even though I was so young, I still remember our adventures together. Would you like me to share my memories of them? Well, I'm going to, whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, I can't type in chat for some reason. You were incredibly excited about this one. I hadn't gone on an expedition with you yet. You were so happy about it, showing it to Mother and I. You didn't stop talking about it for hours. I thought, how can Daddy be so excited over some old broken pottery? But it wasn't long until I understood. All right, um, OBS seems to be fine, but I can't type in chat for some reason. But my internet did not drop. Oh yeah, my coffee's out for delivery.
One second. Because uh, this is weird and I don't know why OBS is suddenly just dropping. Randomly. Oh, Twitch is being very twitchy. Hmm. I think you I was googling this really quick to see if anything abroad. was going on, but it looks like chat's back for me. I would have loved to go with you, but me. Mother didn't want me to. I remember you being so proud of it. It looks ancient. Mother was so angry when you brought this one home, wasn't she? <laughs> William, that simply will not do. It's taking up all the space on the mantelpiece. Once you moved it to your study, I remember creeping in to take a peek at it. This is from the first dig I remember you taking me on. The excavation of West Kennet Long Barrow. I found it wedged behind a stone as you ate your sandwich. You said, now there's a tiny urn for a tiny girl. We found this one together in that mucky old barrow near Avebury. I think it was the second time you'd taken me on a dig with you. I remember you bringing it up to your face to look inside and shrieking in horror. There's a bloody rat in there, you screamed. <laughs> oh no. I almost forgot. While I was searching for your pots in the shed, I found one of your manuscripts. I thought Mother had burnt all your notebooks, but she missed one. It was an account of barrows across the east of England. I managed to read it all before Mother took it away. Daddy, it was fascinating. I've decided that is what I want to do with my life. I'm going to travel the country, excavating and documenting my own finds. Well, as soon as I'm old enough to escape Mother, that is. When you're feeling better, we can go out on expeditions together again, just like we used to. I promise you'll get better, Daddy. I'll do whatever it takes to make it so. Oh wow, Carrie. There's something ahead on the road. Oh, we're way out there. We're so tiny, we're just a little block of pixels. Oh what God. the fuck? Mr. Ambrose! The fuck? I'm going to help you. Still, I I'm going to cut you free. He's not holding He had been still. so tightly bound that I could barely cut through without hurting him further. His mouth was stuffed full of flowers of a most peculiar scent. I was dismayed at such savagery and wondered if the feral folk Father Roach had mentioned were responsible for this abhorrent act. After some considerable effort, I managed to cut him free. I really want to tell Stephen to play this. Are you all right? Oh, who were lost in visions of, of hell, of hell itself. itself. The devil. I saw the devil. Who did this to you? I don't remember. Oh, the terrible sights I saw. I won't forget them till my last breath. Are you Mr. Ambrose? I... Yes. Yes. Okay. Edward Ambrose. You were to meet Miss enjoying. Tompkins today. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling love. Let me take you to her. Here, take my hand. As we made the arduous trek to Panswick Manor, I probed Mr. Ambrose on who had done this to him. He insisted that he didn't remember anything except for his nightmarish visions. My love! Eddie! Jesus, what happened to you? Were you in a fight? Now, fret not, my love. I thought you'd abandoned me. 
Never. Thank your friend here for helping me out of the bind. Oh, Eddie! Let's get out of here, my darling. Hang on. Damn, she just straight up. Thieving beat! How have you got for garters? Oh, stick it where the sun don't shine, you bitter old sow! Uh, I, the cheek! <laughs> Here you are, ma'am. Wow. Thank you, Miss Tompkins. No, thank you for finding my poor Eddie. Oi, thank you, lass. Let's go, Eddie. I'm never setting foot on this godforsaken estate again. Good luck, you two. I forgot there was fast travel till today. I have something for you. You found them? Oh, you dear child. Let's take them straight to Albert. You'll come with me, won't you? Of course, Mrs. DePlancy. My God. We're gonna get sick, and this old lady's gonna you get know, pneumonia and die. The things I miss most about him are the things that used to annoy me. The click of his jaw as he chewed his sandwiches, leaving his tools all around the house. The way he'd never back down from an argument. He's just quiet at home now. Silence. The funny thing is, that's what he always craved. Peace and quiet. He were a good man, our Albert. Sounds like he was. I'm so sorry. Do you fear death, pet? It's the part in between that concerns me most. Whatever do you mean? My father had an accident many years ago. Ever since, he's been in a state where he can neither speak nor move. Oh, that does sound dreadful. I'm sorry, pet. I believe his mind to still be active, but perhaps this is the worst of all fates. To be trapped in one's own body and unable to express oneself while the world continues around you. That is what I fear. Maybe he'll get better one day. It's been 25 years. do anything years. to make it so. Those flowers look beautiful. They do. Albert will be smiling down on us. Pitt, I left me basket inside the church. You'll find some big well puddings in there. You can have them. Oh, you... I insist. You've brought an ounce of happiness into my day, dear. Uh, okay, it's only just bar. that I return some. Thank you, Mrs. DePlancy. To be truthful with You're you, welcome? I was saving him for myself. I if this is too so much, you, you don't have to stay. Oh, forgive me. I don't You're want you. Of the sort. I'll stay here with Albert a bit longer. You go back to your day, pet. Lord be with you. And you, Mrs. DePlancy. You don't have to stay if the game is upsetting you, Guitar Bard. I don't want anyone to, uh, to have a bad day. Yeah. Here they are. If you insist. The vision returns. Oh god, I, I hate come you. bearing gifts. Freshly baked gifts? Yes. Three of Mrs. DePlancy's famous Bakewell puddings. <laughs> you are an amusing creature, Thomasina. What do you mean? You must think me a scoundrel of the highest order for asking you to undertake such folly. Of course, I would have lent you my men either way. I merely desired an excuse to share. Oh, Jesus, I hate this man. Lord Panswick. I take no pleasure in watching you scurry about Bewley to fulfill my every wish. Can I stab him with or the knife? Do I? I do not find this amusing in the slightest. You have no idea what I had to go through to get these for you. Oh, I do, I do. 
And that's what I admire about you. I want to kill Tenacity. him. Tenacity. Even in the face of something you know to be absurd, you don't give up, do you? I Never. think that's on purpose. But in this case, I ought to have. <laughs> now then, will you share one of these tempting confections with me? Now is not the time, Lord Panswick. You disappoint me. It would seem you don't find the rain quite as romantic as I do. Perhaps tomorrow, after your triumphant excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Perhaps. I hope staleness doesn't descend upon them in the meantime. Still, my word is my bond. Come with me to the chapel. I shall inform the chaps of their duties. Thank you. I texted Sam. Be like, I want to stab this dude. Chaps, listen up. You're to assist Miss Bateman's excavation tomorrow. What time, Miss Bateman? Early morning, if you don't mind. We'll be there whenever you need us, Miss. Hobbs Barrow. On the Bryden estate, if I'm not mistaken. We'll be there. Take your tools with you. Miss Bateman will need every assistance we can provide her with. It's no bother. Splendid. Thank you, lads. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'll see you later, my dear. Thank you, Lord Panswick. We're finishing up here, miss. See you tomorrow morning, all right? Certainly. I appreciate your help. It's not like they had a choice. Well, that's a relief to have my crew assembled for tomorrow. It's getting dark and cold. Time to head back to the plough and furrow. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, texted Sam and she said, uh, You got a trowel. Or they said, I've got a trowel. Sam said, you've got a trowel. Evening, Miss Bateman. Good evening, Stanley. Oh, my God. Your Lordship. Ah! Stanley, my good man. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Your Lordship? I've come to wish Miss Bateman good fortune for her grand excavation tomorrow. I'm really rather curious as to what she might turn up. As am I, Your Lordship. An exciting time for Bewley. Wouldn't you agree, Stanley? Oh, yes, your lordship. Very, very exciting. My dear, please, allow me the pleasure of buying you a drink. A welcome antidote to the wind's bite. Wouldn't you say, Stanley? Yes, indeed, your lordship. I adore Sam. Why not? Splendid. You heard the fair lady. <sighs> there you are. Thank you. Everyone, raise your glasses to Miss Oh no, Bateman. don't bring attention to us. May she conquer Hobbs Barrow and find all that she desires. Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! You don't wish to join me in a beverage? Oh, you go ahead, my dear. Alcohol does not sit well Is with my Matt? constitution. Thank you, your lordship. I needed that. She's I aim die. to provide you with whatever your heart desires. I've reminded my chaps there to meet you at Hobbs Barrow in the morning. Thank you again, Lord Panswick. Till we meet again, fête de beau rêve. Mr. Shoulder? Lord Panswick. Your Lordship. Oh, that was a bit chilly. I'm Googling it now.
But it does sound very much like him. Oh, Will the Renzi. Um, so Sam is Thomasina. Philip Sacramento is Arthur Tillett. Richard Reed is Stanley. Will Dorenzi Martin. Will Dorenzi Martin is Panswick. Oh, Tahir Chi is Leonard Shoulder. Shogo Miyakita is Father Roach and the Doctor. Dave is Bryden Saxnot Joe and Annoyed Man. Oh, Rose Jenkinson is Thomasina as a child. <gasps> Jasper's in this! Jasper from Three and a Half Black Half... Three Black Halflings is Horace and the Threatening Man too. I didn't know that. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Behrman. I've recruited the help of some local laborers to help with the excavation. Marvelous. When do we start? Tomorrow morning, first thing. Wonderful. Can I count on your assistance? Of course. I'll meet you here at the Plough and Furrow. Thank you for your time. Why don't you just Hi, stay Batman. there? I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Are you? Are you? You've changed your tunes, Stanley. An exciting time for Bewley. I thought you didn't want me to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Well, You're welcome. Uh, I, uh, oh, what Stan can I get you? I'm fine for now, thank you. Stanley, you changed your tune, eh? Hello there. Yes. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ted. Ted Cross. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Are you a local, Mr. Cross? Oh, no. I'm just passing through. I'm a musician. Just myself, me guitar and me horse. Are you a travelling musician? Aye. I've been playing a new song tonight. I've just finished the lyrics. What's it about? You'll have to come listen. I don't care that much. Is that your horse stationed in the alley? Aye. Thistlecrack is her name. That's an unusual name for a horse. Aye. It was what she were called when I bought her. Glutton would be a better name. She likes her treat. But it feels wrong to change it. What do you make of Bewley? Can't say that I know much about this place. I don't usually travel this far south. I see. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have, miss. What is it? Never mind. Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try. Nah. I'll leave those two to their conversation. Tower. Seen her. Arthur? I've remembered something. <gasps> what is it, Arthur? Not here. Meet me outside. In the alley. We're gonna die if we go in the alley. He's stinking drunk. Let's hear what he has to say. Nay. Hello again, Cyril. You're still here? Leave me be, lad. Damn. All right, I'm gonna go refill my coffee really quick um, and get a quick bio. Then we're gonna maybe hopefully not die in the alley. So while I'm gone, if this were you, would you still be here trying to, to excavate Hobbs Barrow? So enjoy, I'll be back in a couple minutes. I just need to top up my coffee. And my mic doesn't want to mute. Great. So BRB.
Hello. This man's gonna get us killed. Thank what you. What is it? First of all, I must apologize to you. That night we met, when I vanished. Yes? Well, there were a man in the loo. A hooded man. What? He threatened me with a beating if I told you anything about what I saw. Oh, Arthur, that's terrible. What did you see? That's the thing. I hadn't the foggiest idea what he were on about. It was a drink, you see. I'm an embarrassment, Thomasina. I? No, you're not, Arthur. Yes, he is. Here's what I need to tell you. I've remembered what you were on about. Oh? I, standing in the woods today, I knew there was something. I waited. I concentrated. And it finally came back to me. Please, you're keeping me in some serious suspense here. It's also raining. Right. It were a couple of days before I met you. Oh, Arthur. Hurry now, Leonard. I'm not as quick as I used to be. This leg is getting worse by the day. Yes, yes. I'm constantly made aware of your failing health. <sighs> Do not fear. You said he has promised you the reward of your return strength. Aye, and it can't come soon enough. Are you sure that it must be her blood? Aye, she's family. And what? She gets here in two days. What? Aye. What? We must bring her to the site as soon as she arrives. No, no, no. Your lordship, with all due respect, we've been through this. We need to ease her into the idea. She would laugh in our faces if we just asked for it. Who said we would ask? He told me that she needs to give it willingly. This little scheme of yours better work, Leonard. It will, your lordship. We've got the perfect hey, bit. Wait. Who goes there? Did you hear something? Ah, a moonlight tryst. After something, are you, Mr. Tillett? <gasps> your lordship, let me... Save your words, you drunken wretch. Off you go, skedaddle. Don't make me ask twice. I do wish you wouldn't spend so much time with that fool. It's beneath a woman of your standard. It's sad, really. Hey, Webble. That dog urine they serve here has rather pickled the man's brain. You're being most unfair to him. Mr. Tillett is a nice man. <laughs> come now, come now. I shall bid thee adieu once more. For I do not wish for this to come between us. All the very best wishes for your excavation tomorrow, my dear. Thanks. Okay, what in the Dragon Age 2 DLC is this? I wouldn't have stayed here three days. That's a really good sound for no amp. And shit, my acoustic doesn't sound that good. Oh, please don't choke. But for anyone who played the Legacy, oh god, the Legacy DLC, you get the reference. That woman is swinging decently. <laughs> you got me, Pink Lady.
right? I mean, it is kind of a horror game when you think about it. Oh, what the fuck? Right, guitar? Oh, that's reminding me I should tune mine. Which creepy bit? Also high. I don't think so. I think if I didn't drink the drink and I just gone up to my room. Oh, if I had to talk to Arthur, the game may not have let me. See, oh shit, I just thought of something. That first night, what she thought was a cat was probably the goblin. I'm telling you the truth, does it not? It does. Good. Now listen. I can help him again. We can help him. Together. How? All those years ago, your father entered this barrow with the goal of binding me within it. All because the people of Bewley had gotten it into their heads that sacks not were cause of their plight. I tell you, Thomasina, I were not. Your father botched his incantation, leaving me in this weakened state, stuck in this limbo. Yes. As for him, well, you know how he ended up. This... this doesn't sound right. Incantations. My father was... is... a man of... You don't know your father, Thomasina. How old were you? A child of not even five, six years? You need to enter this barrow and undo what your father did. The spell must be undone. Then not only will I regain my strength, but your father will too. But how do I... Blood. The truest symbol of life and death. It's the life which flows within you. But it's also death once it escapes. I don't understand. Worry not how you'll undo what's been done. When the time comes, you'll know exactly what to do. Time is short, and your father and I grow weaker by the hour. Go! Save your father! Incantamentum. Ah, uh, yeah, we try not to say sus, actually. I must undo what has been done. Father, I'm That's coming. Fine. That's fine, you didn't know. Yeah, we just try to be mindful of language, like ableist terms, but also sus, because... <sighs> what, he can Good leave morning. the bar! Stanley? Ah, Miss Bateman. Mr. Shoulder left a note for you. Thank you, Stanley. Miss Bateman, meet me in my home as soon as you read this. There's no time to waste. Oh? Oh, there were a key with it, too. <laughs> hmm. Can I ride the horse? Damn, it's still raining. Miss Bateman, I beg you, in the name of God, leave this town. Father Roach, what is the meaning of this? There's nought for you here, lass. Clear off! I beg you, Miss Bateman. Um. Father Roach, Mr. Farnaby. I have to Google to it once we are out of. But I think we actually have a command. Gentlemen. Am I, Eck? Mr. Kemp, you know. 
an excavation. I do exclamation S U S and the command might still be there. I wish you well with your family. Oh, it is still there. Miss Bateman, may the Lord strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. There we go. We do still have the command. Little children, guard yourselves from idols. Right? Good luck, Miss Bateman. Thank you. Oh, I feel like we're getting toward the end. The more you know. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. Wait, isn't it that way? I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. Um, not weird, but some people get very... I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. Some people get very weird about it. Like we've asked people about using ableist language and they've really, really. And the thing is nine times out of 10. Oh, the small child. Douglas. Oh shit, Douglas ran right from me. It's just a toy. It's no use to me. All right then. All I was saying is sometimes we've we've tried to gently course correct and some people get real weird about it. So Hmm. This key is much too small for the lock. Hmm. This key is much too small for the lock. Mr. Shoulder. Mr. Shoulder. Oh, good. Where did the hens go? I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. No sign of any movement. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Oh, yeah? That is not coming off. I'm not sure what that would achieve. That won't work. I do not wish to harass the rooster. Mr. Shoulder! I'm rather fond of this color. Perhaps Mr. Shoulder and I share similar taste. I don't wish to beat my way in. You sure about that? I can't see how that will help me. That won't achieve anything useful.
What's this? A box. It's locked. Mr. Shoulder, I got your note. Explain yourself. Curses. Curses. The key fits. Another one of these peculiar stones. Wait, does this mean Mr. Shoulder was the third man on my father's excavation? There's a note underneath. My heart is his heart, my light is his light. It's time to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Lord Panswick's men will be waiting for me. Here we go. The crow is dead. Did you see the crow was dead on the ferry? Fairy circle. Good morning, men. Thank you for braving the weather. Aye, miss. Little rain is no bother. So, may we start? Yes, we've not a moment to waste. And so. The excavation of Hobbs Barrow began. Horace and his men learnt quickly and went about their work with care. We toiled for hours, rolling away great stones, removing mortar and masonry put in place by Father, Mr. Bryden and Mr. Shoulder. They had gone to great lengths to seal the barrow. I should have realized their efforts were not only to keep us out, but also to keep something contained within. Eventually, our careful application of pick, trowel and shovel gave way to open space. A stagnant, cadaverous odor was let forth. If it's her mother's the corpse, seal was I broken. quit. I couldn't believe my eyes. My guess is he did, but... Splendid work, all of you. Step inside, miss. We'll be right behind you. Thank you, Horace. I can't wait a moment longer. Will you? They're gonna seal her ass up in there, aren't they? Flowers? I can't get my head around this. How could they possibly grow here? Horace, come see this. Horace? Chance. They left. I've been abandoned. Fucking hell.
Fairly standard Bronze Age pottery. Smashed to high heaven, I'm afraid. Can someone Not let that worth through? making a note of. We gonna die. A burial urn, perhaps. Though there's no sign of ashes. An unremarkable find. <laughs> Try as I might, these flowers are steadfastly rooted. You can't pick flowers? <laughs> Ma'am. No, 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 no. I can't see how that will help me. I'm not sure what that would achieve. Let's see if I can cut them away. Hey, Lamia. I'm like, oh boy. Something has been boarded up here. The boards are held down by two large rocks. Hold on, we could move these big fucking rocks. Iron stakes have been driven through the boards, holding them firmly in place. I feel uneasy about what might lie beneath, but what choice do I have? Hmm. I can't seem to budge the stakes with this. Horace and company have departed, it would seem. I must carry on alone. Your equipment is out there. Have departed, it would seem. I must carry on alone. Hmm. I can't seem to budge the stakes with this. Hmm. No, that won't work. I can't see how that will help me. Purses. I can't get enough leverage with this knife. It's too thin. Iron stakes at each end are keeping the boards in place. I can't remove the stakes with my bare hands. I'll need to pry them out with something. I do not wish to cut that. You're telling me a fucking trout. A passage. Father, I'm coming. The way, oh no. Oh no. Curses, am I out of paraffin? Thank goodness. If I scream, you all will know why. Because Jesus. This is, someone needs to find the Richard Pryor skit about horror movies and black people. Cause that applies right now. My lantern went out for good this time. I had no choice but to venture forth into the darkness. No, we could turn the fuck around, Thomasina. 
With each step, the passage narrowed in every conceivable way, until I was on hand and knee, crawling through thick clumps of vegetation. I think I'll find your corpse down there next. The odor of that dank soil was somehow unnatural. I crawled for an age, until I emerged in a cavern that seemed lit by the very earth itself. This is why your father is bedbound, because he didn't know when to go the fuck home either. What is this place? It's as solid as it looks. Well, I could, but I don't have a year to chip through this door. I must push forward. Uh, don't know. Also, no I'm tips. I'm afraid I can't shift it, even a hair's breadth. Even if you're guessing, no tips. That's a peculiar idea. Hmm. No, that won't work. No, that's not it. No, that won't achieve anything useful. No, that won't work. I mean, if I get, if I, if I need help. Well, I could, but I don't have a year to chip through this door. Um. No, that's not it. That's a peculiar idea. Is it though? Is it? That's a peculiar idea. Is it? No, that won't achieve anything useful. Well, I could, but I don't have a year to chip through this door. I'm not sure what that would achieve. When the sun and the two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated. I'll pour out my spirit. I'm afraid I can't shift it, even a hair's breadth. Hmm. No, that won't work. Hold on. Hmm. No, that won't work. That's a peculiar idea. No, it's not. No, that's not it. No, that won't achieve anything useful. Perhaps I can chip away at the edge of the stonework here. So we're gonna chip... 
Jesus wept. Well, the chisel broke, but what have we here? I should take a closer look. I should take a closer look. Hmm. Three niches have been carved into the stone. I'm afraid I can't shift it, even a hair's breadth. Incredible. For what? No, I know. I mean, for what? Unless I ask for help.
The light. Uh, let's try not to use crazy, Pete. Curses. Goodness me. There's nothing Bronze Age about this. Roman? Ancient Greek? No, this is. This may not be solved else. today. This is way more involved than I thought. <sighs> Curses. Try as I might, it will not open. There's a small hole in the front of the box. A lock, perhaps. The soil feels as hard as rock, despite this damp environment. Is she safe, though, Wibble? Is she? I've broken up the soil. It's loose now. I've tilled the soil. The soil is already prepared. Hmm. No, that won't achieve anything useful. I can't see how that will help me. That's a peculiar idea. I've tilled the soil. I've tilled the soil. This one has shattered to pieces. Mm, these are all empty. No movement there. No movement there. There's a small hole in the front of the box. A lock, perhaps. Hmm. No, that won't work. No, that won't achieve anything useful. There's nothing inside these. Yeah, this is... Wait, water... The figure is holding a whip. The figure is presenting what looks like a sheaf of wheat. Ice cold. I've collected some water in the pot. Hmm. There is nothing there to water. I'm not sure what that would achieve. I can't see how that will help me. No, that won't achieve anything useful. No, that won't achieve anything useful. I've tilled the soil. Ice cold. Try as I might, it will not open. There's a small hole in the front of the box. A lock, perhaps. Hmm. No, that won't work. can't wedge it open with the knife. There's a small hole in the front of the box. A lock, perhaps. Hmm. I've had no luck getting it open with the trowel.
key doesn't fit. That's a peculiar idea. No, that's not it. No, that won't achieve anything useful. Hmm, there is nothing there to water. I'm not sure what that would achieve. I already collected some of the water. No, that's not it. No, that won't achieve anything useful. I can't see how that will help me. No, that won't work. I can't see how that will help me. No, that won't achieve anything useful. Some situations do call for brute force. There's something here, made of wood. It looks like a crank handle. I can't see how that will help me. No, that's not it. It fits in the hole. Let's see if I can turn it. My word. The box is full of seeds. They glow in a most unnatural manner. Yet I feel compelled to take some. There we are. Am I dreaming? The wheat is firmly rooted. I can't pull it out. The wheat is rooted in a most unnatural manner. I can't get my trowel under it. Cold. No movement there.
I've removed a portion of the root. I'll keep it. It's a little crude, but I believe I've fashioned a whip. It fits. Whatever was once placed here is long gone. Uh, mods, I dropped your note in chat. Empty. A thick, greasy substance is oozing from the broken pot. I haven't the faintest idea what it is. I don't wish to touch it. You already touched it. Oh, Jesus, the goat. It looks like an object could be placed here. I shan't go near it. Incredible. Now nah, we good. We good. We're good. I can't move it an inch. It's heavier than it looks. There is a thin slot set into the front of it, not unlike a piggy bank. Astonishing, an ancient device. It moves a fraction. But appears to be locked in some manner. It moves a fraction, but appears to be locked in some manner. There's a goat. A remarkably accurate depiction for something that must be so ancient. I think that's the room I just left, I think. Goodness me! 
the fuck? H Herbert? It's Herbert. What madness is this? The statue bears no moving parts or secrets, it would seem. Wait, something is hanging here. Hmm, a writhing mass of serpents carved from stone. On the reverse side is a thin, notched shaft. Perhaps a key of some nature. What? Hmm, nothing of note here. I don't know why, but I really don't want to put my hand in there. No. That's a peculiar idea. I should take a closer look. It looks like an object could be placed here. That doesn't fit there. Hmm, I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Sauriel. severed hand is locked in a death grip on the handle. Who did this belong to? The fingers are icy cold. I've managed to pry it off. Should I keep it? is jammed. It won't budge. There's something in its mouth. A gold coin. There are no markings on heads nor tails. Hmm. I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Thartharoeth. Hmm. I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Eloios. I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. V I I Roman numerals. Hmm. I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Thalfa Baworth. Hmm, I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Ioth. Hmm, I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Sauriel. You know what? That's enough puzzle for me. There's a fucking goat down here. There's a goat demon down here. I'm good. I'm good. That was enough for me. And my Steam Deck doesn't want to work. Great. Let's see who's on. I've saved my game, yes. 
Um, can someone give one of the mods, not just someone, give me a to do to figure out how to get the credits to roll automatically? Because it used to happen. Now it does not. Thank you. Um, let's see who's on. Tech is on. Smolecule's on. Uh, Blue and Queenie's on. Playing Baldur's Gate. Control at Quinn. But not Warcraft. Because I don't want to hear anyone's shit about supporting Warcraft. Trihex is on. We have not raided him in a while. K.God. But he's got 400 people. He's good. Uh, it's not a big raid, but... Oh, Lamia's on? It's not showing for me. Then perfect, let's raid Lamia. Raid. It is not showing for me in my dropdown. Um, creepy goat raid. Thank you, Fair. Because, yeah, Lamia's not popping up in my uh, followed, and I know I'm following, so thank you. I don't know what Lamia's doing. Um, oh no, but we're gonna go raid Lamia, so don't go anywhere, Leaf. Hi, good morning. But it is uh, nine Pacific, so I need to log in to work anyway. So uh, no stream tonight because both Pirate and Mandy will be on maybe a stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I might take a break from Hobbs Barrow just because some of these puzzles are a little frustrating and not, I don't have that much brain first thing in the morning. We may get back to Baldur's Gate tomorrow. I don't know. Or I may just stream in the evening if no one else is on and have a longer stream. But let's go see what Lamia's up to because they've started streaming. I will catch you all later. Bye.